Hello and welcome to episode 2 of this KSP walkthrough of the 1.0 career. My name's Negity Broods and let's get going. Today we're going to orbit Kerbin, that's going to be our goal, so let's accept the mission. Okay, there we go. We've got it. Now we uh, need to achieve it. Now after the last mission you should have plenty of funds and sites. Uh, that uh, you shouldn't uh, be uh, too concerned about any of that. Now what I want is I want the Terrier engine. The reason being is it is an orbital engine. This is the bigger fuel tank and that's going to help keep our part count down while we're still waiting to upgrade the VAB. The next thing I'm going to want is a heat shield. Because if I'm going to orbit I'm going to need a heat shield to come back. That's that's very important. So we'll grab that as well. So we've got the We've got enough now. Now from here what we're going to aim to do is see if we can get some more science and, and generally just progress through the, the tech tree. There's a few things that we're going to want to get. Uh, these larger engines aren't really important for the moment. Uh, we're going to want to aim for things that are going to get us more science. So let's see if we can build a craft that's going to go to orbit. Uh, let's have a quick look at the what our um, pilots look like. So we've got Jeb, he's, he's had a flight. Uh, we've had Bob, he's had a flight, and Valentina, I think, is going to be the one to pilot K3, the third launch. So, K3. Now, for this one, I'm not going to pack the Science Junior. The reason being, it's extra weight, and we've already got low, uh, low orbital science for that one. Okay, I'm also going to ditch the Mystery Goo. So we've only got the capsule, a parachute, and that's going to be it. So let's have a look at the fuel tanks. Let's grab the large fuel tank and a Terrier engine. Oh yeah, that's going to give us some great Delta V right there. I'll get rid of that entire stage and I'll remake this from scratch. Let's grab that bigger fuel tank. Let's grab four of them. And we'll see how that looks with the uh, T-45. Tons. Tons and tons of Delta V. This is going to go to space every day of the week. The question is, can we pilot it? That's the thing. So there we go. We've got our craft. This should go to orbit. Um, before I go too far, though, make sure that you've got some sort of um, DV and thrust to weight ratio readout. You need to know this information. Without it, you're playing the game blind and it's going to be a lot of trial and error and a lot of money. You can see that this, this craft is going to cost me $6,312 and you have actually seen the sum total of time that I've spent playing this game or this save. So with, with that information, it comes easier. It comes what it should be. So SAS engage panel lock throttle up and we've got Jeb in. That's... Uh, Ah, what the hey. Jeb, you're a little sneak. 54321. Yeah. That's awesome. We'll just tilt the rocket slightly. Make sure we move away from the pad and we'll begin that gravity turn. Now, the gravity turn isn't what it uh, used to be. Uh, nowadays, you, um, you do follow a more of a gravity turn, which is a gradual turn that eventually follows flattens out towards the top of the orbit. Uh, what we want to do is basically stay very, very close to the prograde marker. I want to be halfway at 5, and I want to be at all the way over at, uh, at 10 or thereabouts. So just hold the rocket up a little bit. Now we saw what happened last time, it flipped out on me. So that's partly why I've kept the gimbal engines, because these fins really don't give us all the control that we need. And I'll just keep the, the, uh, the marker at the back of the prograde. Hold that velocity up a little bit. Because we do need height, we need to get out of this lower, thicker atmosphere and up into the rarer uh, atmospheric conditions. Also, as, as we get higher, this engine is going to get better and better. You can see that the specific impulse is increasing, and so is the thrust. Okay. So our speed is now increasing nicely. 
We're at 45 degrees and we're right on schedule. This is looking really nice. So we've got a little bit left to go on the stage. We'll start to crank her over a little bit. We're at 22,000. Now even though we don't have patch conics at the moment, uh, we can still um, you know, do okay. We don't really need it that much. Now what we need to do is we start to need to get this, this uh, velocity vector down. There's our stage. So we'll switch back, stage it up, throttle back up, and now we definitely need to crank it over. We need to crank it over as hard as we can, start to be, build that sideways velocity vector that's going to let us get to orbit. We've got the height now, we just need to get sideways. So we're going straight sideways, and what we'll do is we'll just throttle down a little bit because that that vector is moving away from us now. We're pushing that apoapsis out when we don't really need to be. We want to be building sideways, which we'll continue to do. We'll throttle down again. This is a powerful little craft. And there should be plenty in this rocket to get to orbit every day of the week. Actually, I'm not happy with how high that's getting, so I'll shut off the engine, accelerate up, just get a little bit closer to that apoapsis. There's space. Okay, we're much closer now, so we'll get on the horizon and throttle up to full. Because as we get closer and closer, our ability to push the apple apsis is going to decrease. But it's also going to mean we're more effective at increasing our orbit without increasing our height. You see, because this thing's so powerful, though, it's still able to, to give it a good nudge. And we're not starting to fall yet. So we're nearly there. We're getting there. See, there's the periapsis, and there it is. 70 by 89. Ugly, but it works. So we've got the orbit Kerbin uh, achievement completed. That's going to give us another 70,000, 12 science and 30 reputation. We've got a distance record on the way up. Uh, we've got two of them actually, so there you go. So there we go, that is the first first Kerbal in space. Young Jeb has made it. The immortal Jebediah. So thank you very much for joining me ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, I believe, I believe it's uh, Fly by the Moon. But I'll see you then.